Hey girlies, welcome or welcome back to the Imani Forrester channel. As you know, Imani Forrester is the author of 30 Reasons Why Men Deserve Nothing, which you can find in the description box below. I'm Shanice, and today's video is going to be about a concerning trend that has popped up on my feed on TikTok. So apparently there are some Southern women who voted for Trump, spreading the lie that liberal women are planning to jump or have already started jumping Southern women for voting red. So last night, after exposing that Christy Aldrich 2020 here on TikTok, was the account that started the lie that Harris supporters were planning attacks on Southern white women for voting for Trump. Christy then took, took to her TikTok page to stitch another account named Country Croc OG to pass the blame onto him for starting the lie. Now I'm going to show you what each of them posted now. So I'm up here in my garage and this is not normally my content um normally i talk about jesus but you know we were talking about a southern women getting threatened or whatever so i have these these leggings are called lethal leggings they look just like normal leggings oh oh this is bad this is this is real bad <laughs> liberal women plan to jump conservative women <laughs> Um, better bring an army. Whole bald bitch brigade. We appreciate you, Christy, because now we're going to work to have his account removed along with yours. Neither of them provided any proof of the claims that they were making. Just got on their phones, recorded videos that liberals and Harris supporters were planning attacks on conservatives and Southern white women. Neither of them provided one ounce of proof. It is lies, they are inciting violence, and it goes against TikTok's policies and their accounts should be removed and they should not be allowed to reopen any accounts on this app. Christy Aldrich has since made her account private, but I just want you to know that you can still report her account. In the top right corner, you can still tap that arrow, select report, and then report for violence or hate speech. You can still report a private account. So today, we need this video shared as many times as possible to raise awareness on how dangerous these people are and the lies that they are on here telling on liberals, black women, and Harris supporters. We need this video shared as many times as possible. Please also, tag Tizzy ENT because I would really like his help raising awareness on this topic and also report these accounts to TikTok for hate speech and violence. Today, 92% and all of our allies, all of our blue bracelet friends that want to help us and help keep us safe and make us understand that we are safe with them by wearing blue bracelets. This is what we need from you. We need these accounts taken down. That will help us feel safe. The infection has spread. Two oh, Southern women that ground and found out, baby. Not only is our ground and find out movement gaining traction, okay? They are realizing what a massive mistake they made by summoning Southern women and getting us off of, out of the cut and off the mountains we live in, baby. Okay. Missouri in the south. I'm in the southwest corner of Missouri. And I heard you're gonna jump southern women. I'm originally from Colorado, but I've lived here for three years, so I said, give me one of them Smith and Wesson. I've seen a couple of videos of people talking about southern women are gonna start being jumped because we voted with the red wave, right? Baby girls, y'all are not ready for this group of Southern women, okay? Y'all forget one thing. Not only are we Southern, by the grace of God, but most of us are Gen X. The lie is currently making its third wave around the world. And the truth just got up to put on its pants after putting on its drawers. And see, this is why. White women who want to wear blue bracelets to show that you're not one of them. This is why you want to wear those blue bracelets. This is why you want to separate yourself from them. And this is exactly where accomplices come in. Not allies. Accomplices. Every woman 
that voted against Donald Trump in this past election who want to separate from themselves from these women, y'all know somebody just like it. Y'all do. Y'all know a white woman just like this. She's a co-worker, girlfriend, high school friend. She's in your family. She's in your friend group. She's in your text uh, group chat right now. Rather than putting on a blue bracelet, why don't you cuss up a blue streak at them for their complete stupidity in believing a lie for their complete understand misunderstanding of why women voted against that motherfucker in the first place about all the things that they fucking did when they did vote for this motherfucker. So you don't have to be in the faces of black and brown and native and indigenous women. You need to be in their faces. Those those faces right there, because you're not going to sit up and tell me that these women that made all these dumbass videos and the guys, there are white guys out here. You come for Southern women. Ain't nobody come for your woman, dog. Ain't nobody coming for your woman. Don't nobody give a fuck about your woman. Keep her. But every white woman that did not vote for Donald Trump, y'all know a woman like this. If you want to truly not be an ally, but be an accomplice, it's time for you to co confront them right now. Do not wait right now. When you see or hear some stupid shit that they just put out, you need to be on their ass. You need to be on their ass like a rash from poison ivy. You need to be on their ass. Why is it the job of black and brown and native and indigenous women to fight these women with this level of stupidity? This is your time. This is your motherfucking time. You mean to tell me none of these women know anybody? Really? Really? I don't know who they are. Get the fuck out of my face. You know them. Some of them are in your family. Mm hmm. Some of them are in your family. You going to walk your ass in the fucking Thanksgiving dinner in two weeks with them. You going to stuff your mouth with potatoes or you going to cuss these stupid asses out? That's not our job. That's not black women's job. It's yours. Here's where accomplices distance themselves. You ain't got to film it. Don't film it. Don't. For whatever you do, do not film it. But what you do is you make a stink. You make a fucking stink. You make a fucking fuss. Become a motherfucking problem. At the table. At the table. Some of these women are your moms. Some of these women are your aunts. Some of these women are your cousins. You're just going to sit at that damn table with them and do nothing when you know this is the type of shit that they're out there doing? Really? Or is this going to be your moment where you finally stand up and go, that's the stupidest, dumbest, non happening thing I've ever heard of the fact that you sat there and said that shit is stupid don't get mad because women in general are not fucking wanting to find common ground with your dumb ass you out here saying this stupid shit this is the part where allies talk accomplices do an ally will be all up in our face going I told my no mm-mm -mm. Don't tell me you did it. Don't tell me you did it. Just do it. Be like the Nike commercial and just fucking do it. This is your moment. You will really truly show your ass as accomplice. Stop buying blue bracelets. Find your motherfucking friend or your family member that's saying this stupid shit and wear their ass out verbally. If that means you get the fuck up and get the fuck out, you get the fuck up and you get the fuck out. This is your time. We will see.
word that um, they're going to start jumping Southern women because we voted red. No, you didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't. I've been seeing these videos everywhere and not one of these women who say this have posted a stitch or any proof at all that anybody has said this. They're all just saying it but they haven't shown it anywhere. Every accusation like this feels like a confession because they know that their party got extremely violent when Trump lost. They all threw a temper tantrum, including Trump, and stormed the Capitol. They literally incited an insurrection. It all feels like projection. Um, but it's not a coincidence that she has a shirt with a Bible verse on it. Fortunately, evangelicalism gets people to believe that no matter what, they're victims or they're being persecuted. Even if they're living in a country where Christian nationalism is indeed taking over. And even though their Christian nationalist candidate won, they still feel like the victim and they still feel like they're being persecuted. Yeah, you're not being persecuted. Um, nobody's coming after you. Nobody said that. Um, you're the majority. It's gonna be okay. And I think that one thing that sums up evangelicalism today is the fact that she has the shirt with the Bible verses on it. Meanwhile, she's talking about having a pew pew to unalive somebody. Um, that just sums it all up for me. I was just happily casually scrolling on the fucking interweb with uh, my darling co-pilot here and came across somebody who looks a lot like I do. You know. And uh, just calling for violence and making up lies. And now I'm violently pissed about it. You want to know why? Because bitches like you, I don't know your name, but you know who the fuck you are. Because from what I heard, you turned your shit private because you knew. You knew you were lying. You knew you were pulled. I'm not even going to say the lady's name because that fucking lady does not need to be remembered. But poor fucking Emmett Till was killed by people like you. And more fucking people are going to die because of you. Because you're calling for violence because we didn't listen to you fucking cry. And I'm, mm, I am angry. I am so angry. This is, the rest of us, you know, the, the, the 47% are doing our best. We are doing our fucking best and you are fucking ruining it for the rest of us. We now all have to live in this goddamn hellscape because you want to be a victim and uphold your fucking bullshit comfort. And I hope you get everything you fucking voted for you. Mm. The things I want to say are going to get me a shitload of community violations. But, mm. It's other white women that be pissing me off the fucking most. Because I started the same way you did, but I fucking learned and grow and grew. And y'all are insisting on keeping this shit up because you just want to be the fucking precious protected victims. God damn it, you make me so mad. And we all know that this is a lie. There are no videos that anyone can find of any liberal woman saying that they want to harm Southern women. The only thing liberals are saying is that they hope the MAGA voters get everything they voted for. Otherwise, liberal women have largely been minding their own business. What we have seen are videos of many liberal voters saying that they no longer want to associate with people who have contributed to voting away their rights. We have seen people say that they are uninviting Trump supporters from their holiday and family events. We saw that these Trump supporting women cried and complained and were upset that people were drawing boundaries between themselves and people who have values and morals that are in complete opposition position to their own and don't care about their humanity, safety, or well-being. So now it seems that because of that rejection, some Trump-supporting women have decided to retaliate with what they call the FAFO movement, which is basically them creating a fantasy of victimhood, lying and inciting violence. And in doing so, they have proven the very people who have decided to distance themselves from them correct. They are proving themselves to be a danger to be around. And we know historically the harm that arsist women who have historically victimized themselves and called for retribution have caused. So I think this should be taken seriously. 
Keep your head on a swivel and please make sure that you're aware of who's around you. Make sure you have the capability to defend yourself should your life be in danger. I'm glad to see that people of all races came out to call out the creator of these lies, Christy Aldridge, and let it be known on record that this woman is lying through her teeth. Shout out to the white women who have called out this behavior too. That is more supportive than a bracelet will ever be. Apparently, some of these Trump supporters have been salivating at a chance to target and to harm people. So anyone who might be put in harm's way by these dog whistles and calls to arms, please make sure to be careful out there and keep yourself safe. And to black women after this, let's just return to focusing on self again. That being said, I found a lot of reactions to Christy Aldrich's video, but before we get into them, I ask that you please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and at the end of the video, feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Your TikTok and I heard that um, they're going to start jumping Southern women. Be I don't know how a Southern woman with bullets showed up on my FYP page, but here we are. Go watch the whole thing. It's offensive, but also really funny. I don't know who's coming to jump Southern women. I certainly am not. I'm going to continue to fight for your rights too. Um, if I come for you, it's really just to get tips on how to get my hair bigger because it just goes flat so easy and I can't figure out why. And also like, I don't know, to steal all your cottage core dresses because I am obsessed with your style. But yeah, that's it. Liberal women aren't coming for you. Not in the way you think, so you can put your bullets back in your makeup bag. Have the day you deserve. So I was going through TikTok and I heard that um, they're going to start jumping Southern women because we voted red. Not real sure that that's a great idea. Let me show Cap. Yes, that was all cap. Because if Christy here had any videos of multiple people talking about they were going to attack Southern women because you all voted red, she would have put it up. Yeah, cap. And not to mention that a large percentage of black women who live in the South voted for Kamala Harris. But um, maybe you only think Southern women are, are white. Which comes to think of it, sounds about white. I mean, right, considering the source. But um, Christy here had a lot more to say and demonstrate. Let's get to it. That's a great idea. Let me show you these leggings that I have. These are called lethal leggings, and they have a little spot for your tool. So um, I was just sitting here, and I was going to do a makeup video. Oh, that's not my, that's not my eyeshadow brush. Yeah. So that's. Lethal leggings. <laughs> oh, that's so quaint. Hmm. This is a bit warm. Let me drop a couple of ice cubes in here. Just, a, just need a couple of ice cubes. Just, just, just a couple. Um, let's get back to what she's talking about. Hmm. Mm hmm that's that's colder so that's what they said they were going to start jumping the the southern women because um we oh <laughs> that's not my brush because uh we voted for trump um you might want to rethink that oh <laughs> that's not my lipstick <laughs> Christy, I understand because, you know, I'm getting old too. And, and, and sometimes I just put the wrong things in the wrong places also. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But um, continue. Continue. Uh, it might not work out well for you. Because some Southern women, you know, we've been trained. But, yeah, that's what I heard is that us Southern women are in danger now. Mm. I need some more libation, but let me, let me pour me some while I tell you this. But, um, Christy, you all elected a man that a federal judge went through a lot of trouble to clarify that he did this to E. Jean Carroll. You all elected a man that 26 women have accused of this type of misconduct. <laughs> Christy, 
you do understand why you out here capping on Beyonce's internet like Carolyn Bryant on Emmett Till? That the man you elected already has nominated two of his cohorts that are guilty of the same kind of misconduct as he is. Christy, sit down. Ain't nobody looking for you except those inside your own house because that's where the calls are coming from. And black women told me to give you a message. When it starts going downhill for you, this is who you need to call. Ghostbusters. Now, you have the day inside of your house that you deserve. This message is for Southern MAGA women and Southern MAGA women only. Now, I know you might not be accustomed to seeing someone looking like me on your FYP, but if you do, this here message is just for you. Now, see, me personally, I was born and raised in the county of Dade, but my mom and daddy from Alabama and Mississippi, so I just thought it'd be best for me to tap on into my Southern roots right quick so I can just talk to you ladies for a little spell or two if you don't mind. Now, I don't watch Fox News because, you know, I'm black and I don't hate myself. But I do remember watching MSNBC, you know, with Joy and Lawrence and them. I love me some Lawrence. I really do. And I remember them saying that Donald Trump won election. You know, MAGA motherfucking nation. So I just couldn't figure out well, why entire nation was Southern white MAGA women all up in arms telling these lies that liberal women are coming to jump them. I mean, and by liberal, you mean black women, but you're too pussy to say it, so I'll go ahead on and say it for you. Don't worry about it. But still, it was bothering me because I was like, what on earth would Southern white women lie on black people for no other re for no God earthly reason? other than to just get them in trouble and possibly hurt. But then I thought about it, and I remembered, you bitches are breathing. And then it made perfect sense. Now, you ladies were just so upset to the point where you stole our vernacular for your movement. You know, the fuck around and find out movement. But you know what? Given the current state of these affairs, I think you're going to need to hold on to that phrase a lot longer than we will. So we just going to go ahead on and let you have that one there. Besides, we accustomed to white people stealing shit. I mean, hell, you stole us. A phrase ain't that fucking far behind. But now here's the thing about us black people. If we ain't nothing else, we're fucking resourceful. So I got two new phrases that I'd like to share with you. Now see this first phrase. It's more in alignment with, you know, keeping the peace. And that phrase is, don't start no shit, won't be no shit. Now, that's pretty self-explanatory, I think. But you MAGA bitches only got two brain cells in between the two of you, so you might not get it, but I hope that you do. Now, this other phrase is more in alignment with the energy that you've been putting out towards us. And that phrase is simple. Pull the fuck on up. Now, if you decide to pull the fuck on up, I just want you to be sure to know that once you breach our perimeter, we gonna knock the motherfucking Mario coins right on up at you long back bitches. X for motherfucking deliciously. Shout out to T.I. on that one. So, you see, I reckon that it might be in your best interest to keep black women's names out your motherfucking mouth and get your ass back in that kitchen. Because you know, if your brother slash husband, Ricky Bobby, comes home and that fried bologna sandwich with extra mayo on Wonder Bread is not on that table next to an ice cold beer, he's going to knock you in the middle of next fucking week. Then you won't be able to put on your little lethal leggings and pure black women because you can't see your target if you got two black eyes. So now on behalf of us liberal women over here, we just want to tell you that we wish you nothing but the absolute best. And I hope that that Donald Trump there 
Now, he gets rid of that pesky-ass Obamacare and only keeps the ACA. Now, see, that's one thing that I can agree on with you Trump people. Yeah, that was wasteful spending. We didn't need that. Now, on that note, before I go, I just want you white Southern MAGA women to know one more thing. Just remember, it might still be your body, but sure enough is his choice. I heard that um, they're going to start jumping Southern women because we voted red. No, you didn't. These conservative women are telling this lie and throwing a temper tantrum for two reasons. The first one is jealousy. They're angry because the conservative men they have given up their identity for have been online talking about how much they want liberal women. Lying and hiding their political affiliation from liberal women, all the steps they're going to go through to get a liberal woman, to trick them into being with them. And if you look at these women's stories, their fake lies are always connected to 4B somehow. Southern women, we have been summoned, okay? And it is time for us to start our counter 4B movement. And here's another one. Very clearly threatening violence. Oh, keep your 4 blue movement. I'm starting a 2A movement. This is all about the competition in their minds for male validation. See, last week they were excited. They said, oh my God, 4B women aren't going to have children. They aren't going to date men. We're going to get all the men. We're going to be the only ones having kitties. Yay. Because they have been angling for male approval this whole time. Women shouldn't vote, say the most extreme conservative women. Women are so terrible. Men should be in charge of everything. Women are so stupid and emotional. Please give me some, you know what? These girls are so desperate for a Scooby snack that they have completely betrayed their own interest and they still didn't get what they wanted because the conservative men are in a tither going online, publicly trading information on how to trick liberal women into thinking you're one of the good ones so you can get what you really want. These women realize selling out has netted them nothing, so now they want an excuse to practice violence on the women who are getting attention from the men that they want. True pick me's don't care if you're guilty or innocent, if you wanted the man or didn't even know the man was alive. They're going to punish you for being attractive to him, and that's what these women are trying to do. The other part is what I already talked about this weekend. These women thought this is the world that voting for Trump was going to bring them back to. They are shocked that you're setting boundaries, that you are backing away because... There was a time when they could be as nasty to your face as they wanted, that they could treat you like trash and you still had to smile and pretend to be their friend. They are angry that you get to have boundaries. And so they did their typical thing last week. That was when they were doing the crying and the pleading and the begging. They pretended to be nice. They pretended to be contrite. They said, is there something that we can do to cosplay as nice women? Is there a bracelet? Can we give you some empty hollow words, some protestations? And that didn't work. The mask of niceness is not durable. So now they have shed that skin and they're in their Missy Ann phase. They don't want to be your fake friend anymore. They want to practice violence against you. I've already seen it in some of the interactions Black women are describing online. You're going to see a major uptick in this behavior, particularly in the Southern states. But Black women in the South don't need me to warn them about this. They already know how to handle them. For people who live elsewhere, listen to me. The Barbecue Becky, the Lemonade Stand Karens always follow the same pattern. First, they are going to approach you and make an unreasonable request, something completely abnormal to force a confrontation. Let me see your driver's license. Show me your keys. Prove to me you belong here. Something personal and invasive. When you obviously don't comply, they're going to claim they feel threatened and they're going to call the police to invoke state-sanctioned violence. This is to embarrass you and put you in a no-win situation. The police are there to exert the power Karen couldn't. When she told you to do whatever, she was giving you an order. You didn't have to listen to her and give her your ID, but you have to comply with the police. Police, they can legally ask for your ID and question your right to be in that space. And no matter the outcome of the situation, even if you're proven right, you're now all stressed out and you've been in this horrible, toxic situation while this person gets to watch you squirm. That was the point. No matter how right you were and how wrong she was, She's getting her power back by invoking the state against you. Do not engage. If you're alone and you're approached, use the same rhetoric of fear. Clutch your purse and, oh, I don't know you. You're a stranger. I feel unsafe. And just back away. Don't engage in conversation. Do not go back and forth. If you're in a large group, which is what tends to trigger them the most, immediately pull out your phone, record, because we know that's the kryptonite. They get super angry. Don't record me. 
I didn't give you permission to record me, make it so uncomfortable that they'll want to leave all by themselves. If you're in a diverse group, send an emissary to deal with her. That's how people can really show their allyship by making sure you're not affected and stressed out by racist people trying to get in your space. Try not to even let it escalate. When you see them coming, have a quick response ready to cut off the whole scenario. Think of these women the same way you think of snails. Y'all know the end snails. You don't go back and forth with them because you know they want to engage to drain your energy. These women want to engage to siphon your energy as well. They are just as toxic as the red pilled men. Very likely worse because they're so delusional. And it all dovetails. This is why you're seeing anti-4B rhetoric. This is why these women have these excuses. Oh, I thought you were girls, girls. Oh, you're just punishing me for having my own mind voting a different way. Or what's wrong with having a family? They're trying to make you engage. So you're going to hear the most false of falsehoods about 4B or decentering men or anything else. Don't engage. It's just a, a trick, a hook to keep you engaging with this nonsense and push that anti-woman agenda. Don't bother to correct people because they already know the truth. Just ignore. Push it away from your FYP. Do not engage. And if you see otherwise sensible people spreading falsehoods about anything that decenters men, you can correct them in private or you can call them out if you think it would be effective and say, why are you giving aid and comfort to people who are going to harm? Because this is the end result of that kind of mentality. Do you see this? Right after the election, I started hearing all these false ideologies. Oh, 4B is bad. 4B is this. 4B is dangerous. And now two seconds later, it's let's attack the women of the 4B movement. You're going to have to prick up your ears in the coming season because it's going to be a lot of stuff like this. The aggression has been off the charts and it's only going to get worse because they want to engage with you. They want to grapple with you. They thought they were going to own you. Oh, how they were going to own the libs and they were going to get all the male attention because liberal women are so ugly. And now that they're not getting what they voted for, they're angry. And when they really get what they voted for, they're going to be extra angry and looking for somebody to take it out on. So be careful. Stay ready now so you don't have to get ready. And don't be afraid to back away and let them have it. That'll make them more angry than anything else. Protect yourself like and follow for more. Hey, TikTok friends. So I need to stay off this app. <laughs> It is a time sucker because I'm cleaning my house after putting up my Christmas this weekend. Oh, see, Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. Anyway, I sat down for a minute to like have a drink, take a little, take a rest for just a moment and started scrolling TikTok, which I shouldn't have done because now 30 minutes later, after going down a huge rabbit hole of this jumping Southern women thing, <laughs> I wanted to make a quick video. So there is this white woman who got on TikTok this weekend and said something or a couple of days ago about she'd heard that they are coming to jump white Southern women because we all voted for Trump. Well, first of all, that never happened. I, they, and, and we know who they is. They is not other white women. They you're referring to as people with brown skin. Let's just say it. Let's just say the quiet parts out loud. The ironic thing, tangent, I saw that lady. I went to her, um, personal page and she apparently is a huge Christian and actually had a video after the election where she said she had a dream that Trump was antichrist and she was wondering if she should have voted for him. But anyway, I think she's taking the video down now. I think, it, I think she may have taken it down or either TikTok took it down for her because people reported it. But regardless, not all Southern women voted for Trump. I didn't. There's plenty of Southern women who didn't vote for Trump. But more importantly, you can't tell who somebody voted for by looking at them. I mean, you may think, oh, she has a blue bead bracelet on, so she must be liberal. Well, it could just be a blue bead bracelet. Or, oh, she drives a pickup truck, so she must have voted for Trump or whatever. It's like no one can tell by looking at you who you voted for. So how are they going to know who to jump, number one? Not that it happened. But, yeah, all these white women, though, with their rage, you know, getting all, in, in, you know, indignant, going, y'all just come on down here. Y'all just come on. Y'all don't know Southern women. Y'all about to fuck around and find out about Southern women. <laughs> Which they ain't wrong. But it's like, tuck that rage in, lady. Just tuck it in. Tuck it all in. Because you... <laughs> But you know who, why you should be carrying? You should absolutely be carrying. And you know why we should all be carrying? Women should be. Because these audacious, emboldened men, white men, are going to start coming 
for all women. And again, they're not going to know if you're blue or red by looking at you. They're just going to think that they can do what they want to do. So you absolutely should be caring to protect yourself, but not against other women. You need to be caring to protect yourself against white men. Seeing a lot of Southern women saying that they're concerned that liberals are going to jump them for voting red. Darlings, nobody's going to touch a hair on your poorly styled little head. You aren't worth our time. Just tuck those white women tears away. And that do something with whatever you got going on there. So the jumping Southern women trend on TikTok claims that black women, even though they don't use the word black, we know who they're talking about, are planning to target white Southern women who voted for Trump. And on the surface, this might seem like just another viral trend, but let's talk about how dangerous this really is and why it's an echo, a modern echo of a deadly historical pattern. In history, white women's lives have often been weaponized against uh, black men and women, leading to real harm, violence, and death. Take, for instance, uh, Emmett Till, 14-year-old boy who was lynched in 1955 because a white woman, Carolyn Bryant, falsely accused him of whistling at her. And even though decades later she admitted to lying, um, she was never held accountable for her actions or faced any kind of repercussions. Or consider the countless black women falsely accused of harming white women, leading to brutal assaults, murders, and arrests during the Jim Crow era. These accusations weren't just lies. They were tools of systemic oppression upheld by a society that was eager to protect in white innocence at the expense of black lives. Now, Fast forward to 2024, this TikTok trend might feel like harmless satire or internet drama, but it taps into that same historical playbook by framing black women as aggressors plotting to harm white women, and it reinforces dangerous stereotypes that invite real world consequences. And here's the bigger issue that I don't think they consider when perpetuating this. Online narratives don't stay online. These false claims plant seeds of fear and distrust, emboldening people who are already looking for an excuse to harm black communities. So it's the same tactic repackaged for the digital age. And let's not forget that these trends all, um, always seem to happen in a broader cultural moment. So when conversations about race, equity, and power grow louder, often backlash follows. And this trend isn't just about social media, it's part of a larger resistance to progress. So remember the Central Park Five, a group of black and Latino boys falsely accused of attacking a white woman in 1989. The media and public opinion were so weaponized against them that they spent years in prison for a crime they didn't even commit. This TikTok trend is a modern digital version of that same pattern, a lie that endangers lives by reinforcing racist fears. So this isn't just a trend. This is a warning. History has shown us where this narrative leads and it's up to us to call it out before it causes harm. Don't dismiss it as harmless internet noise. Ask yourself, who benefits from this? Who gets hurt? And how can we stop it? So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Um, what are your thoughts about the trend and the dangers of it? And what can we do as a larger community online to stop it? Because I don't want to see anyone hurt. I don't want to be hurt. I obviously am a black woman. I have five black girls. We don't, I don't know anybody who's a planning, who wants to attack anybody over a freaking election. Be for real now. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. So one more point. Um, the original video was taken down. However, I really want to know what can we do to get TikTok to take these other videos down? I know lots of people have been reporting them, but there are still so many other white women who are making videos about this. And it really does cause harm to black women across the board. So if you're a white woman who is watching this, please comment your thoughts. Um, you know, what can we do to ha have TikTok hold these creators accountable for any violence that they are perpetuating um, as a result of this, because this poses a real danger to black women everywhere and um, and not just fully grown women. Like I said, I'm a mom of five daughters. This poses a danger to my girls as well. Um, and yes, I will say even my middle school age daughter and my elementary school age daughters and I have a college age daughter as well. So let me know what we can do about that as well. Hey, y'all. Crazy woman here. I just had to make a video. This is for all the other Southern women that are out there, um, especially the ones that, that voted um, red. I feel like I need to explain something to you. 
Women who voted blue are not going to jump you. We don't want any, we don't want any of that crap. So stop spreading them lies all over. We don't want it. Okay. Now, that being said, stop lying and trying to tell people that we are. That's how you get people hurt. We all know you have an agenda, so it's okay. Then I'm calling you out as a fibber. And that's, that's being nice. I can call you so many other things. Like a gender traitor. A humanitarian traitor. Whatever. But the Karens know who I'm talking about. You're just whining and crying and making stuff up because you want the attention because you ain't got it. Okay. But I'm going to preface this with this. If I see you hurting one of my black sisters or my people of color or anybody for that matter, then you'll get a tail whooping. I ain't playing. If someone ain't done nothing to you, leave them alone. Is what they do or what are they doing? Is it hurting you? No, leave them alone. It is not your business or your job to carry on and help everybody else, Miss Karen. So, knock it off. We see you and we hear you. And I have a better chance of being jumped in a red state than you do because I voted blue. And just so all y'all know, I'm armed too. So, if anybody tries, I'll feel bad for you. But, with that being said, just stop it. You're not funny to anybody. Nobody's paying no attention to you. Bye. Yeah. They need us to do something. Because white women's victimhood ain't shit if they ain't got nobody to blame. Conservative Southern women are making this claim on TikTok that liberal women are planning to jump them because of who they voted for. Um, a complete lie, based on nothing. Uh, but they they want to be the victims. They're desperate to be the victims, and they make up this bullshit to make them seem like they're the victims and. What's happening now is that conservative Southern men are jumping into the fray, predictably, because what happens when white women make a claim of violence against them, a bullshit claim of violence against them, is white men jump in and people die. And how are these conservative women and these conservative men going to determine who is a liberal who's planning on jumping them just by looking at them. It's going to be by the color of their skin. So we're looking at a female version of Emmett Till. That, that's what's going to happen. Please be careful. That's all I'm saying. I am never the first on a trend or a sign-up sheet, but I must be the first Southern woman that y'all jump. I have to be. Baby, I, oh, I'm salivating. This sounds like more fun than going to TJ Maxx, Ulta, Target, and Starbies while being kid-free on a Sunday with a clean house. Honey, we have to tame blue-collar men down here. That ain't for the faint of heart. I know you know nothing about that life, honey, but blue-collar men, <laughs> We gotta be tough. We work on farms. We pack heat. We live in the mountains. We live in cold conditions. And we don't put up with it. Because other Southern women would not allow us to not put up with it. Honey, if another Southern woman steps to me, I gotta handle it. You're light work. You are an easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl on a Sunday. 
But after I finish molly whopping you, I will fix you a casserole, say bless your heart, and give you a loaf of bread. Y'all, I wasn't going to say nothing about this whole little southern women getting jump shit. But then I seen somebody in the comments on one of those videos talking about, oh yeah, us Kentucky women are ready. I just want to say, as a Kentucky woman, you need to shut the fuck up. This state has been red since Clinton left office. Why the fuck would all of a sudden we start jumping motherfuckers because it went red? We didn't expect it to go blue. Who? Nobody expect. The whole damn United States of America knows Kentucky turns in its ballots first every single fucking time. And they go red every single time fucking time and if you retarded motherfuckers was willing to put that motherfucking turkey giblet ass man back in the senate we did not think we was gonna get a wise choice for the president so what the fuck is you talking about and i know you don't live in louisville talking shit about talking about us kentucky women already and i know you ain't living in lex talking about that because see in louisville they'll shoot your ass for sneezing wrong i'm scared to go there sometimes so you can cut that shit out because you probably live in one of these counties that you just drive through to get where you need to go you probably don't even live in one of the popular counties i.e barstown e-town hoptown we live in one of these random ass towns that we don't even know exist until we see it on a bigfoot documentary ain't nobody checking for nobody here we just we chilling shut the fuck up and for the rest of y'all, if y'all don't use y'all motherfucking common sense, don't be listening to this woman and fuck around and get fucked up. You Y'all over here talking about fucking around and finding out. Y'all gonna be the ones fucking around and finding out. And the sad part is, you gonna fuck around and find out from another Trump supporter. Because see, them, it's a difference between you new punk ass Trump supporters and them real ones. See, them real ones, they stand ten toes down about what they believe in. But you new little punk ass ones who probably didn't even vote for him the last time, who just did it this time, you scared. So now you looking for any reason to justify yourself in having a scaredy cat reaction and possibly killing somebody because you heard a rumor that people was going around and getting killed. It's called just being a punk ass liar. You better quit looking left and look real good and right. Oh, and by the way, they sell guns to other people other than white people. Just want to let y'all know. I don't know. Some of y'all might have missed that memo. But other people got shit too. My father's ex-military. He had so much shit in his house growing up. I had to realize the other day, now that I'm in my 30s, I too have a lot of shit in this house. And that's just the way I was raised. So don't think you the only motherfucker out here getting trained to pop off. Common sense and consequences. They both start with a C. Seriously, Southern women, go get your girls. They, they, they're like, I'm gonna fight. Shut up. Just shut up. Look at this. Does this face look like I have any energy to beat up anybody because of how they voted? That I have any time to do that? That I have any inclination to do that? We are not the Your Body, My Choice group. That's not us. You're not being me. Shut up. No, we aren't. No, we're not. We don't care about you. Okay. So I was going through TikTok and I heard that um, they're going to start jumping Southern women because we voted red. Christy, girl, who said that? <laughs> I'm going to need you to tag me in the video because, first of all, who was they? And second of all, who said they were dropping Southern women for voting for Trump? I swear, white women are so fucking unserious. White women and Jayla wake up every morning like, hmm, what lies can I tell for fun today? Like, why do y'all do that? <laughs> like, why do y'all do that? And here's the thing. There are so many things that y'all could actually lie about, but y'all say that shit with your whole chest. Like, y'all be like, yes, I don't use a washcloth and I let the water run down my legs. Like, that's the shit y'all should be getting on here lying about. Christy, I'm gonna hold your hand with a napkin in between when I say this. Not one single solitary person has said that they're gonna jump at anyone for voting red. Because here's the difference between y'all and us. When we're upset about the election results, we cry about it online. When y'all are upset, Y'all scale buildings and try to overthrow our fucking government. Mind you, Christy is supposed to be a Christian content creator and got up here with her Thomas the Train looking ass and
They're going to start jumping Southern women because we voted red. No, you didn't. <laughs> so you know what cracks me up? Other than the fact that none of these people stitching, or none of the people talking about how they're going to start jumping Southern women for voting red, whatever, can stitch anybody saying that any liberal or leftist is going to jump Southern women for voting red it's the fact that they forget that there are Southern women just like myself who voted for Kamala Harris, who never once in my entire life did I ever think to vote for Donald Trump or any conservative crony. And I'm going to go farther into this by saying I never once in my life thought that I would look at anything Mitt Romney said as the voice of reason within the Rep Republican Party. But we're in a time in, of age where Mitt Romney is a voice of re reason within the Republican Party. And that's coming from a leftist, not liberal, leftist Southern woman who has never once voted conservatively. So, yeah, one conservative women of the South, we ain't going to jump you. We're just going to cut you off and not talk to you anymore. It's so much easier that way because at the end of the day, I truly and honestly hope that you get everything you just voted for. And when you do get everything you just voted for. Don't come crying to me at all. Because while I will still fight to the death for your rights as an American woman, I'm going to do so very passive aggressively and tell you this is what you voted for. Why are you complaining? Because we told you what you were voting for. That being said, I ain't risking prison. Prison orange does not look good on me. I ain't gonna jump you just because of who you voted for. But I will tell you, I hope you get what you wanted. So I was going through TikTok and I heard that um, they're gonna start jumping Southern women because we voted red. Who said that, Christy? Hmm? Who told you that? Where did you hear this from? Because y'all love getting on the internet and just saying anything for likes and views. I want to see the video. I want the evidence. Okay, I want names. I want dates. Show me the receipts. Show me the Carfax. Quickly. Quickly, please. Quickly. I'm telling you, the way that y'all will just make shit up and create fake scenarios in order to find excuses to resort to violence against anybody who doesn't agree with your poor life decisions is weird. Y'all have to know how weird this is. Y'all have to know that you are never beating the weirdo allegations if you keep doing this shit. Also, I just find it funny that y'all always tend to assume that y'all are the only ones strapped up. Y'all think we ain't packing either? Because, baby, <laughs> it would be a mistake to make that assumption. Let me tell you that right now. More right-wing nonsense that's trying to be passed along as fast. There's all these conservative women on here that says, so the word on the streets is the liberal women are jumping conservative women. Bring it on. What word on the street? Who said that? No one said that. What has been happening is that your liberal family members are saying, I don't want to come to Thanksgiving and Christmas. So we're already really mean. They want to add more to it by saying they're just crazy and violent. However, who did January 6th? I think they just can't imagine that we would lose an election and we wouldn't act the psychotic way that they do. Maybe they just can't fathom that, yeah, we just, we don't act like children throwing tantrums. We just don't want to interact with people who live in Looneyville and who also think that they are better than other people and deserve more rights than other people. Um, yeah, we would just rather not, not interact with that. We're not trying to jump you in the streets. We want nothing to do with you, actually. So... Stop trying to run some type of narrative that we're coming after you. Oh my God, we literally do not care about you. You'll find out 
from your own consequences and uh, of your actions. We don't have to do anything. You'll find out. If you are a Southern woman passenger princess, sit right the fuck down because you need to hear this. Across my feed for the past couple of days has been nothing but Southern Christian women talking about how liberal women like me are going to fucking jump you. First of all, you're not important enough to fight. You're not relevant enough to matter. And why do you think you are the only people on this earth who have firearms? You're all the same. You're all one loud Stepford wife for three seconds until your husband tells you to shut the fuck up. You are making TikToks with sounds and be like, Look, I can show my husband I'm so for him. I'm proud to be a, a homemaker and take care of children because that's God's plan. The only reason women like you are able to make any posts on any social media is because of women like me. Women who fought for you and you voted against your own interests. So now you fucking southern women have to deal with each other and that's going to get real old real fucking fast. Unlike half of you, I can read and my husband sees me as an equal. These next four years are going to be brutal for you southern Trump daddy women. I've been married almost 24 fucking years. So my husband and I have had conversations about this upcoming administration and what to do. Your husbands are going to tell you what you can and can't do. You are chefs. You are limousine drivers. You are pickups. You are play dates. You are clean the house. You are the help. I am a partner. You are un paid maids underpaid daycare workers and because you keep popping out children statistics are going to show some of you are going to miscarry some of you are going to have ectopics and some of you are going to have pregnancies that are not going to result in an actual baby the baby will not make it do not do not cry to one fucking doctor when that shit happens because if you're supposed to die that's god's will if your husband beats the shit out of you, that's God's will. If he cheats on you, and he will, and gets somebody pregnant, that's going to be your child's sibling. Because it will. We're not going to fight you. But if a dude decks you when we're out in fucking public, we're going to walk away. Because you should be able to handle it. I mean, you're the ones who are packing heat, right? Your mothers, your grandmothers fought for you to have a voice. And you just took it right away. Get as jazzed as you fucking want because we're going to be just fine. It is you who will suffer, not us. You're just too fucking stupid to realize it yet. That Christy Albridge woman who got on here and told a lie about hearing rumors that liberals were going to be jumping Southern white women. She's dangerous. Women like her are dangerous. She is seeding the ground with lies and it's going to grow a situation where she's trying to get black people killed. She is trying to get black people killed. She is a modern day Susan Smith. She is a modern day Carolyn Bryant. So if you see people like that in your life, walk across the street. Don't get anywhere near them. They are dangerous so i had to do a video because i don't normally speak on subjects like this but i speak on subjects like this in the privacy of my home to my friends and my family but i'm very passionate about this one in particular um so there's something going around that um southern white women and i'm not talking about the regular white people that mind their business go about their daily life we, this is not for you. This is for those Southern white women who feel like black liberal women are after them. And they're behind the fuck around and find out movement. How is you gotta even take our shit? Cause it ain't yours. You don't even go here, first of all. Our music play, our music in the background like you intimidating us. First of all, a black woman cannot be intimidated by me. 
we can't be intimidated, baby. We are the most hated in this country. We we cannot. And as much as y'all spew out, we play the victim. This is why we over here mind our black ass business. And you happen to step in to make it about yourself again because you want to be the victim so bad. And we could give a morsel of a fuck. But however, something about a black woman, and I'm a southern black woman. Something about a black woman, she going to tell you when you're wasting your time. And baby, you wasting your time. Matter of fact, I compiled up a list in my head of things that you should be doing right now. You ain't even on your job and you don't even know it. Right now, there's somebody jogging at a park without a permit. And you need to be there to call the police. Right now, a fast food worker is expecting you to show up and ask for the manager. Right now, Uncle Grandpa and Daddy is fucking me, Mom. And you need to intervene, bitch. There's countless of potato salads that is waiting to be ruined on your account. The grocery stores ain't never had these many raisins in all their days because you over here on Beyonce's internet spewing out hatred. Gather yourself, bitch, and get yourself together and have a nice day. So this video is getting a bit long, so I'm going to cut it here, but stick around because I'll be back later with part two.